I hope guys in the previous lecture you completed the animation for all your layers you created an animation maybe the timing is not so good you want to adjust it but yet everything is animated the way you would like the last step which is this one is to sequence your layers I'm gonna show you here a different way that sometimes I work with it's quite cool by the way let's decide exactly what you want to animate first I will go for global warming and its background now what I will do is to come down there select global warming and the background here and then I will put off visibility for everything else here you are okay so everything else is invisible except these three layers and while I'm sequencing I will make them appear it will be very convenient you will see okay so let's come here and decide how do we want this layer to be animated if you play your animation the background is coming much before than it should so we need to delay the global and the warming so I'll click on them and push them on this side that's one way to do it or the better way is to speed up the background and then reduce also the speed on the two other layers here you are so I press spacebar to play with this method you are really focusing here you see exactly how things are happening now let's move on to the other layers for example the background here they are I'll put the visibility on okay and let's uh, decide that these guys are gonna come much faster that's one okay bring them over here and they come while the others haven't finished you know their animation so they come just over here you see quite cool in fact I will go even more I will do like this okay here you are you notice at the same time that's pretty nice we finish from these layers now we take the graphs you have the bar right left and middle I'll put the eye on and then just click and drag and just put them here you don't want to delay too much and you want to speed them up okay that looks cool for me here you are if you look now wow not bad let's go up now and change the order for the percentage you want to animate the percentage before the zero one two three so I selected the three of them as you see then click on one of them and drop it under the one okay where's the one over here I will just drop it over here then I put of course the visibility on and then drag them to put them behind but don't wait for the end you know it's gonna be kind of nothing happening on the screen for a few frames but still noticeable so I bring them just over here and of course I want to make it much speedier so I'll click and bring them over here if you play now not bad let's deselect I like it the way they're coming okay if you don't like it of course guys feel free to do whatever you think is better even now I selected with 0 1 2 3 I'm gonna put them on and the animation is very long here I'm gonna make it you know just 10 frames that's enough and when the everything has come right into place I want the 1 2 3 to come alone I'm just gonna bring them over here okay let's see how the animation will look so now decide how you want to animate these squares here first of all I put them on okay then I will select the last keyframes of the three layers click on one of them and make them shorter in time here you are this will do I will sequence them and let's see what happens if I put them just over here now we need to make the timeline a bit longer or the work area uh -uh. there is a dead time you notice guys there is a dead time here and it's not cool at all because the 0 1 2 3 are not very influential so I take this one just put them over here and ignore the 0 1 2 3 you know they're coming together that's not bad I deselect to see everything and play still I have a dead time here so I'll select the squares again and just bring them over here see exactly how it's happening not bad not bad this is pretty interesting now The last one just bring it over here and maybe give it all the time to be visible first and here you are okay let's see how it's happening Asian statistic is working well so actually you have completed the animation you have completed the whole project and it's looking quite cool the next step to do of course is select all your layers and enable motion blur for all of them and enable it for the comp deselect and let's see how it looks and now you have learned a lot about motion graphics and you can create almost 
any animation that you design of course a beginner's animation or a bit intermediate not the complex animation this course is about after effects altogether not only motion graphics thank you very much for listening i hope this was very fun for you i'll see you in the next lecture